an incredible hero of mine. Uh, came out of Owen County, Willis Russell. So Willis Russell came out of Owen County, and Willis Russell was um, the Klu Klux Klan slayer. Uh, virtually single-handedly fought the Klu Klux Klan. Uh, he had to. Um, uh, the Klu Klux Klan was the mayor and the county judge and the uh, sheriff, county judge, and the mayor. Um, so all the political establishment was in the Ku Klux Klan and there's going around killing a lot of black people and white radicals, any white people who thought black people were uh, people. Uh, Willis Russell was going around there single-handedly stopping them from uh, doing that. Nobody was supporting him, even the, he petitioned the state of Kentucky to give him some arms in order to fight him. They came when it was almost too late, uh, when it was, uh, they was all getting in together and there's gonna be like a big okay corral shootout. And, um, yeah, so that's uh, Willis Russell out of Owen County. <laughs> Let me think, is there any more stuff? Willis Russell, Willis Russell, remember that name, because Willis Russell was uh, the one who fought the Ku Klux Klan. Single-handedly fought the Ku Klux Klan. Everybody was against him, everybody in the mayor's office in this building here the county judge the sheriff they was all against Willis Russell and um, Willis Russell was able to organize the people get neighbors and friends uh, give himself a little posse and he fought the, the Ku Klux Klan off this is the same Ku Klux Klan that also had a race riot in Gautha County uh, there's about three or four hundred black people that was uh, murdered or pushed out of Gautha County over the river so this is the same Ku Klux Klan. It was right after Civil War, uh, since Kentucky was um, pro-slavery but also pro-Union. Most Kentuckians fall for the Union side. So Willis Russell, thanks Owen County for producing Willis Russell. He's a badass. So Owen County was named in 1819 for Colonel Abraham Owen, born in Virginia in 1769, came to Kentucky in 1785. He was part of the Indian campaigns of 1790 and 91, so he was uh, part of the Indian genocide. Uh, Owen County is named after a genocidal maniac, just like Christopher Columbus and Daniel Boone. Member of the Kentucky Legislature, so this Indian killer was elected into public office, legislature, senate, and the constitutional convention of 1799, which uh, allowed slavery. The first Kentuckian to join the command of General William Henry Harrison, uh, the president who died after uh, talking for ever and catching pneumonia, died a month later. Uh, he was uh, he joined the command of Henry Harrison in the Indian campaign, the Upper Wabash Valley. So that's some more Indian killing. November 7th, 1811, uh, Owen, Colonel Abraham Owen, was killed in the Battle of Tippecanoe. So, uh, Tippecanoe, Tyler II, uh, Henry Harrison. Uh, Tippecanoe, Tippecanoe. I don't know, I don't know if that's Jackson. Tyler, I know Tyler is there, but okay. Uh, Owen County uh, was carved out of Scott, Franklin, and Gallatin County. Gallatin County used to be a big county and now it's the smallest county in the state. And here is the, uh, the square at Owen County. It's actually a pretty warm day. I think that this place should be hopping, to be honest with you. The, uh, I guess school's in session right now. Yeah, this is a square. You had the jail back behind me. Bowling insurance. First Farmers Bank. Clerk's office. The courthouse. Owen County Courthouse. I'm the Board of Trustees. Since you're back in, now it's time for you to wreck it. It's time for me to go take it. I'm gonna turn you into cheddar. Smack you like a tether and make your sweater wetter. And I'm gonna wipe you out in the nether. I can see right through you, you Nazi. You got tells. It's time for us students to educate ourselves. We need to be like Blaine Hudson and bludgeon the non-budget and start busting and cussing. So I'm here on 3rd and Madison. 
um, standing in front of the Kenton County Justice Center, Kenton County Justice Center, 3rd Madison, right next to the Northern Kentucky Convention Center, and this church that I always park at, I hope I'm not towed, I don't think I'm towed, um, but here in um, 4 or 5, so April 5th, April 5th, 2004, this is when my old man was actually sitting in prison for a domestic violence dispute. While he was sitting in prison, and I was staying, I put my legal address down in Erlinger, um, but I was staying in Bellevue. I was staying in an abandoned building in Bellevue, because I remember the day that I decided to do it. Um, well, hold on. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So... So yeah, this is where I become Jonathan Masters right here. King County Justice Center, it was uh, and Reddle. and Reddle on April 5th, 2004. So 2004, Johnny Masters has been real and alive for the last eight years. Yeah. <laughs> Can't help you. Oh, I'm taking pictures of myself. Uh, just okay, I know it just looked like you had the camera pointed toward the uh, it's like this. Okay, it looked like it was going the other way because your screen. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah. No, I'm just filming myself. I'm narrating my case. So I'm just like, hey, here okay. in front of us. All right. <laughs> Serious business, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I got to shake down. I got a camera. Watch out. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, April 5th, 2004, Jonathan Masters was born. April 5th, 2004. So that's a year, six months at least. Or uh, <laughs> eight years and six months, so almost eight and a half years. Jonathan Masters has been alive on this planet. He ain't going to stop, neither. For all time, I'll keep on fighting. To have self-interest and narratives intertwined. Native Americans and Arabics. I've lost my mind. Love is blind. She's a mystery to me. I can't decipher. Oh my God, how she entices. This motherfucking woman is priceless. She's a workaholic and she's righteous. She's an Egyptian goddess like Isis. And I like it. And I can barely breathe as I type this. Her love feels too good to fight this. Love's a foundation for where all the virtues come from. It's a giver of life like the sun. And this life I've won. A desert road Bellevue, action. Kentucky, this is where I was staying at when I uh, became Johnny Masters in 2004, April 5th, April 5th, 2004. In Covington, Kentucky, that's the courthouse I went to, the Kenton County Courthouse in Covington, Kentucky, the same city I was born at, so actually I'm pretty fond of Covington, even though I really never lived in Covington. I love Bellevue, Newport, Kentucky, it's all, it's all a bluegrass, it's all ingrained in me. And I found me. They used to oh, bank with Fifth Third. These fuckers. The Egyptians <laughs> turn on their ignition. I also used to work for some guy polishing books. The people um, the uh, yeah, the Bellevue police. Fuck the Bellevue police. I remember I was uh, I'm staying at this abandoned building, which is coming up here soon. And I was down this alley. Uh, I was washing my clothes. So I was washing my clothes, and I was um, went to the dry cleaners, and I was on my way back, and I had a thing of laundry full clothes in my arms. I was going up the alley and a cop came up and flashed his lights almost when I was about inside the house or inside the door. Yeah, this is the uh, block right here. This is the building right here. There's a storefront right next to the past and present. Oh, wow, there's actually stuff in there. And then up there is the, the alley. Oh, shit. Shit going on around here. But anyways, yeah, this is actually not bad. Right here is the uh, door. Well, not right here. But they have a motion detector. But there's steps actually lead up. If you can tell that there's steps there. I'm going to keep going, actually. Yeah, so I was down the alley. And then the... Um, my soul. Dancing with the ancients. It's down the alley and this police officer flashed his light at me and when he flashed his lights I was like well I'll just tell the police what I was doing and that'd be cool and that'd be no big deal 
Um, and I went back and I was like, well, to start off, you know, I'm just scared of police. And he's like, why are you scared? And all of a sudden, just started fucking getting all hostile and insane. And, uh, you know, after about a, an hour of fucking haggling with them, they sat me in the car. They checked through my shit. They checked my, uh, they ramshackled my fucking place to make sure to see if I had any fucking drugs or guns and shit. But I didn't have shit going on. I didn't have shit going on. So they fucking harassed the fuck out of me. And then after about an hour, they left me alone. They said, don't come back here and they give me a card to go to a homeless shelter you ain't allowed to live in this abandoned building it was like motherfucker i know the person i'm uh paying rent here i'm working in exchange to stay i'm allowed to stay here motherfucker uh, they asked me who it was and i wasn't able to come up with his name right away marvin dreyer and actually in that building there's a whole shitload of books or there used to be a shitload of books i don't know if there's any books in there anymore it's actually kind of neat that's a storefront this is all bellevue kentucky so bellevue is kind of be here. This actually ain't too bad. It's they're pretty. They're always some motherfucking asshole skiing. Uh, but this is where actually my cousin had died, DJ Blanchett. DJ Blanchett had died in uh, Bellevue, in the lesser, lesser affluent area. Revolutionary like Morrissey, the spiritual mother of me is Amah Ghali. My Egyptian queen, my bride to be, I'm Muhammad Ali. And that's my baby sweet, Princess Dolce. She's my dream, my happy fighter. There be he was a it was actually a pretty cool setup. They had a tanning salon, hairstylist, and a candy shop right down the road. Um, it just sucked. I mean, I was poor at the time, so I didn't have any money. I was going to college, Xavier University. It's 2004, so actually I had just dropped out. I've been dropped out for about five months. I dropped out in November 2003, and then I was Jonathan Masters legally in 2004, even though I was Johnny Masters for about a year or two before all that had happened. So, tight fit, man. It's kind of this to drive through during the day, but I guess it's a good business district if you got business up. It's I'm good for you. The Squalies, man. Taking that's a pretty sweet place. Sweet. Making it big awesome ass Italian ass food. Mess. Of course, Purple of course, Monkey. I used to live at the Purple Monkey. There, I think there's a bunch of books in there, too. A bunch of my books. I'm Evo Morales and Hugo Chavez. You gotta risk the death in order to truly live. I used to work at this United Dairy Farmers. There's some fucking toothless, white, trash, motherfucking pieces of shit that work here. Um, but they had delicious ice cream, and they got a patio. They used to overlook the river until they erected that big-ass fucking building right there. <laughs> well, but I guess you could see kind of part of the, the river. Um, yeah, so Bellevue is actually the riverfront's kind of coming up. Uh, I remember some people saying like it'll never happen, but yeah, it is. You got Daymar College, Urban Active, Ideal Image, Joe's Crab Shack. I worked for about a week. It's one of the few jobs I actually got fired at. She told me the trainer that she usually gives the answers during the test, and so I kept asking her for several answers, and she got mad about it. And then eventually, they just said that they didn't need me. <laughs> Which sucks. But they also had a waiter that said that black people didn't tip, and I was like, you got fucking racist waiters here. Could you stupid motherfuckers keep bowing down so, to the governor's throne? Y'all bunch of obedient motherfuckers who's got Stockholm Syndrome. We all alone. Suck my duck for free, like the Uncle Tom House Negro he'll always be. I might give him a buck, since he turned his kids into bitches, forcing them to do the dishes. Tuck native black fish was going down like a bitch. Thousands of black coal miners are being forced to live in the middle. Joe's I used to work at. Newport, there's lots of homeless innocents killed. Newport on the levee, right next to Burger King, a subway, bunch of bridges, and our kids are getting sick. Z. We got a ton of little rich. We all poor. Us Mick Hicks Spicks, us Dick Brick Nick. None of us are fucking rich. Party source, Chase, Big, Big Boy, Boy Donato, Save a Lot, no, Miller's Fill In, McDonald's. Aided and abated. You got a lot of now stuff actually back here, but it's kind of actually poor lower class. Uh, riverfront looks good. <laughs> so, some people are making money, but not everybody. Bloody Harlan. Bloody 